that's Thank some, you very much. That's classy singing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that audience has class. Oh, yes, they have. See, I told you, James. That's very classy. but the best. Yes, right. <laughs> Great. That is, I, I have a feeling I just heard one of the greatest voices I've ever heard. I really Thank mean that. Thank you. You're very classy. All right. Control is magnificent. It's, Thank you. Yeah, it Thank you. How many people know really the suffering, the discipline, the hard work that goes into being able to sing the way you just sang, besides the God-given talent, all the preparation? That's true. Tell them how you suffer, Shirley. Go ahead. <laughs> tell, tell them about the things well, you can't eat and can't do. That's oh, right. Oh, now uh, that's uh, something. Uh, yes. Tell them. Well, if you dare. No, it is a great, <laughs> <laughs> it's a great discipline. One must have fantastic discipline to be, I think, to do anything professionally. Um, about the eating, I had heard before becoming a singer when I just sang as a child, because I have sung all my life, but when I began to study seriously, to go into the serious m music, into, into opera, uh, I used to hear these things about you can't eat nuts and you can't eat oily foods and you can't drink milk and you can't, can't eat milk, ice cream. And you can't <laughs> eat ice cream, you know, you know like forget it. And uh, I thought, oh, you know, what is good for one person is possibly bad for another and vice versa. So I decided, not at a performance, but at a rehearsal, I decided that I was going to try out uh, a few of these things, a few of these don'ts. So at one rehearsal, I tried out eating nuts. So I don't eat nuts anymore. That's because great. after about a half hour, I began to have uh, tickling in the throat oh, yes. and oh. having to go, <coughs> which was bad. You know, I couldn't do that in, the, in performance. Then I found out uh, I like milk very, very much. But I found out that I couldn't drink milk, cold milk. I can have it hot, but I don't even do that before a performance. I stick to um, taking honey. Honey drink, and tea uh, Honey and tea, milk and and that yeah. kind of thing. You don't, milk, we sing you don't drink milk right. anyway. <laughs> I drink anything. I want to, <laughs> anything. I want to change it. See if it changes my luck. I ate nuts before the show. No, but you see, again, that, she told I that. Think that's, no, I think that's individual. You know, it comes to the point that so many things, oily food is something else that I can't eat, and I try to stay away from it. But sometimes when you're on the road traveling, you go into certain hotels, and you know it's not, uh, you don't have great hotels wherever you are in, in the small towns. And so many times you must eat what, what you can. I never and made so it. therefore you then click your head and say, and so I guess some of it is psychological. You say, I must eat, so I must eat a little oil today, you know, if you're in a part of the country yeah. where they cook, uh, cook a it's lot of Mother's Day, get <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, she, which I love. Right. Food, yeah. I don't I like to be able to stand the way she does. I mean, yeah. her voice is great, but she I can stand. Sing, like just the way you yeah. stand, Shirley. What the audience heart. knows they're going to get something yeah. special. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Why did you go seriously to to uh, serious music, to opera, rather than jazz singing? Or, jazz singing. Or what, what James well, does. Which is great, by the way. I wanted to say congratulations. Say, I want to you from yeah. the island. You're from the island, huh? <laughs> no, I'm not. People take me, they always mistake. I'm an American. I was born in New Orleans, reared in California, and now I make my home in New York. But I think uh, because of the languages that I studied at Juilliard, uh, it gets mixed up with the English sometimes, and it makes an accent, and I people don't I'm usually know where I'm from. Did you I start out like most kids in church? I did. I began my career, first my mother taught me a song to sing in church. Oh, was I that, sang what was it. that song? The song was, Jesus Loves Me, This I Know, or Yes, Jesus Loves Me, was the oh, first thing yes, I learned as a yes. child. And uh, I sang it in church. My father then heard me sing, because he hadn't heard me while my mother was uh, coaching me in this song. He said, after church, he said, you know, Shirley, do you know that you have a voice? And I said, no. He said, yes, you have. He said, would you like daddy to train you? Well, my father was, is a builder, but he also, his avocation is singing and music, the whole family. Mm -hmm. And I said, yes. Well, I was five and a half years old. Anything he said, I would say possibly yes to. <laughs> but I was interested in singing. He began, to make a long story short, from what, from his basic training, I then developed into almost what I am now, but then I did have to go to professional school, and that was in 1955. I came to New York on a television show. May I name it? Sure. The Godfrey Show. Oh, so many people have a scar. 
1955 September, and my present teacher, Madam Freshel, saw me on television that night, wanted to meet me, and this is how I got my scholarship to Juilliard, and wow, I spent five nice. years at the Juilliard School of Music, graduated, and uh, on full scho scholarship. And let me say the reason why I went into into uh, serious music. Are they waiting for? We, a, we do, I, call I don't want to have to cut <laughs> you next. Wouldn't you rather hear her sing? We'll talk about this later. All right. Shirley. Oh,